Hello everyone, my name is Paige Castlin and I can't believe how fast time has flown. Seven years ago, I was sitting exactly in your shoes. I was 16 and thinking about this huge decision I was going to have to make about what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Okay, so looking back, I realized I may have been a little intense. At 16, trying to decide what I wanted to do for the rest of my life is pretty much impossible. But from my experience at the Women in Engineering summer camp at the University of Dayton, I found my path and I was pointed in the right direction. I grew up loving to be creative and taking things from average to extraordinary. Ever since I learned how to talk, my family said I would always come to them saying, I have an idea. But how could this be translated into a career? This is why programs such as the one at the University of Dayton are perfect for those of you who are still exploring STEM fields as a possible college major. At the camp, I gained several experiences that made me confident engineering was the major for me. I remember spending each day discovering and troubleshooting new challenges. We worked on teams, we learned all about different types of engineering, and we had fun doing it. From my time there, I learned that engineering was more than just being good at math and science. I learned that an engineering degree would give me the toolbox of knowledge to solve any problem. I remember one activity we did involved working on teams to make a cylinder that adhered to specific dimensions with the goal of supporting the most weight. We were given a bunch of supplies like markers, popsicle sticks, and play-doh to complete the challenge. My team used a combination of all these materials and we were confident with our creation. We did not come in first place, but the winners were a team that used only sheets of paper rolled together tightly. This amazed me how you can use something so basic in a certain way to achieve success. It's stuff like this that gets me excited about the limitless potentials of engineering, brainstorming how to accomplish a goal with assortment of materials and then finding that solution. This was just the start of my engineering career and this passion for innovation has allowed me to accomplish more than I ever thought was possible at 16. In 2011, I graduated from high school and headed off to enter a general engineering program. I was told, you cannot get an internship after your freshman year in college, so that pushed me to turn the impossible into a reality. I reached out to everyone I knew to see if there was any way I could get experience in the field of engineering. Everything is a learning experience, so even if the job isn't exactly what you want to do with the rest of your life, find the value in it. The next year, I began my electrical engineering classes and completed two more internships by the time I graduated. After graduating, I started full-time with a material science company called Covestra. I started in their rotation program learning all aspects of the company and applying my electrical engineering degree towards solving everyday problems. Seven months later, Covestra was searching for an internal employee to go on an assignment of a lifetime. Covestra had used its lightweight and efficient materials to engineer the cockpit of a solar-powered airplane traveling around the world called Solar Impulse. Covestra needed an electrical engineer who had a unique skill set, including communication and PR skills, to spend six months as a member of the Solar Impulse ground crew for the second half of the round the world journey from Hawaii to Abu Dhabi. And I was the lucky member selected. So I packed my bags, said goodbye to my home, and was on a plane to Hawaii. Since February of 2016, I have been traveling with the team on each leg of the journey. I'm facing challenges I never knew I would encounter in my lifetime. I'm the only American on the team forcing me to cope with somewhat of a cultural and language barrier. I'm the youngest member and one of two women on the ground crew, tasked with maneuvering the plane on and off the runway, among other duties. Getting a STEM degree allowed me to be flexible and adapt to these situations. Now I've been through a lot at just the age of 23, and although I love what I'm doing and I'm grateful for the opportunities I've been given, I don't lose track of my unfulfilled capacity to grow and develop and hone and refine my engineering, troubleshooting, and communication skills. With every experience comes new value with something to learn. There is always room to learn something new and develop into a well-rounded individual. And I want to advise you all to apply this mindset so you can learn at an early age not to be afraid of taking risks. Pair this risk-taking attitude with unwavering positivity and confidence, and I can guarantee that you guys will be way ahead of any other teenagers your age. I've learned through college that it's okay to fail sometimes, as long as you know your mistakes and make the changes you need to succeed. Now you all have already made an excellent choice to attend the engineering camp at Dayton. You all have an exciting path in front of you, and I want to leave you with this message as you prepare for camp. 
Take as much away from this experience as you can. Get out of your comfort zone, learn something new, and find your passion. A career in engineering isn't just about the application of math, physics, and science. It's much more than that, as it will transcend you to become a much stronger and wholesome person. And every professional will tell you that. Now I wish you all an amazing week.